All right, welcome back to part two of uh, getting custom firmware installed on a PSP running version 3.90 using the Daytel tool battery. Uh, we're starting where we left off from part one, where it says enter, insert new disc for drive E. So we're gonna hit enter on that. All right, and uh, looks like we got a percent sign counting, counting up here. And um, the PSP is uh, flashing as well. And we'll just let that run. All right, here we are at 95%. Initializing inner volume label. I just hit enter for none. And uh, all right, hit enter key to continue. All right, running MSP format on drive E. You are about to format drive E. All data will be lost. Would you like to continue? All right, I'm gonna hit yes. And uh, PSP is flashing again. All right, drive successfully formatted and partition move. Press any key to continue. Please take your memory stick out first, then stop the USB connection. All right, so we will do just that. All right, we're still in USB mode. So what we're gonna do is just like the instruction said, I'm gonna remove the memory stick. There it is, the one gig uh, Sony Pro Duo. Put that over here, and then we'll come out of uh, stop the USB connection. So we'll stop it. All right. All right. Back at the computer here, and then press any key to continue. It says, put it back in the PSP and start USB connection. All right. All right. So we will take the uh, memory stick and uh, put it back in here. Clicked in, all right, close the little door, and uh, start the USB connection. All right. All right, when I enabled the USB connection, uh, the removable disk E, which is my PSP, popped up uh, over here. And uh, now we're just gonna hit enter, as it asks right there. Copying files to drive E, MS root 380.pbp, Couple other things going on here. PSP is accepting it. It's uh, as its little data receiving light flashing here. All right. So sixty files copied. Press any key to continue. All right. Says some stuff here, blah, blah, blah. Let's see the bottom here. It's like check free reserve sector, okay. Right, ABS sector, zero tenant. Are you sure? Well, I guess we are. Hit enter. It's like right, MS boot code. Enter to continue. A little green screen now here. All right, congratulations. Magic memory stick creation finished. Press any key to continue. All right. And there's the credits um, for everyone on the Cat B50 team there. And enter to continue. And that's that. Okay, now we'll put the battery, the tool battery, back in the PSP and see if this works. All right, so we're going to stop the USB mode. All right, that's stopped. And uh, I'm going to turn this thing off. Okay, it's off. Powered down. All right, so we'll disconnect the USB cable. All right, and then we're gonna swap the batteries. We'll take out the stock one. And we'll put in the tool one. Now, when we turn this on, it should. Everything goes according to plan. Boot up. We get some information on the screen, and it should flash the new firmware over. Okay, put the battery cover back on. Seems to be the most difficult part about this whole thing so far. All right, and we're gonna flip the switch here. It's turning on. All right. I know this is hard to see, but uh, basically it says press X to install 
3.80 M33. Press zero to install original 3.80. Press quote quote to dump the NAD. Press LR start home to restore NAD and dump physically. Dangerous. Okay. I want to do that dangerous thing. We're just going to hit X here to install 3.80 M33. Um, now, Cat B50 was thinking about doing um, 3.90, so because after this we're going to have to do a uh, firmware update. So there's loading update modules, formatting, a couple other things. Uh, loading PSAR to RAM. It's blinking there. Install success. Press X to shut down the PSP. Alright. Now, uh, to take that battery out, because if we don't, uh, it'll boot up the service mode and probably do all that fun stuff again. So let's um, pull that tool battery out. And we'll put the regular battery back in there. All right, oh, I got it on easy that time. Okay, so we should uh, be able to turn this on here. Should boot up like normal and set with the new firmware. And there it is. 3.80 M33.5. Simple enough. Um, that's it. So now we got to update from that to the new version. And we can do that through the PSP. But first, I think there's some settings here you can do when you hold this button down when you're booting up. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll hold that button down. We'll turn the PSP back on. There we go. Toggle USB configuration. CPU registry hacks. Um, advanced maybe. Uh, no. Go back. Uh, let's see here. Configuration. Skip Sony logo. Currently disabled. Hide corrupt icons. Game folder homebrew. Currently kernel. Auto run programs, UMD mode, fake region, free UMD region, hard reset on homebrew, use that. There we go, use M33 network update, currently enabled, so looks like it's enabled from the from the standard thing. So, um, what we'll do here is we'll just turn this back off. Now, I'm pretty sure that this firmware update probably wiped out all my wireless settings, so I'm going to have to input those and uh, do the update to the newest firmware. Alright, so we'll go back here, up, oh, network update. And yeah, new connection. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, put all that back in. <laughs> 